Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, today I have a special treat for you, something brand new. Um, I've been working for about four to five weeks with these little ESP8266 modules and um, I'm at a point where I'm pretty happy with what I've done so I thought I'd show it off. Um, as you can see, this here is an Arduino Micro. Um, no, wrong. It's an Arduino Mini Pro uh, with 8 megahertz and 5 volts um, and an ESP8266 module. Um, there's also some power supply and a little bit of wiring here. And uh, this is already running. It's running a combined web server and client. Um, while, while it's a client in the form that it's continuously downloading uh, information from the web and uploading information as it, as it does, it's also a uh, pretty well working web server uh, which is used for the configuration and uh, for updating internal data and uh, as a bonus it now comes with its own little display let's see I like it. now what this does is um, every 30 seconds it downloads a web page and it displays whatever is in that web page. Everything is set up so you can configure it through a web interface. Um, I already showed that off uh, in my last video. Um, but that was on an Arduino Mega which has a lot more power, a lot more memory, a lot more of everything and uh, this is just the stripped down version but it's still very very versatile now I can basically control what this thing is doing um, at any time by either manipulating data on a web page um, or by um, sending information directly to the module so I'll just be showing this to you to start off, I'm going to reset it so it loses the time. Here we go. It now goes through the setup routines. It connects to Wi-Fi. Um, my Wi-Fi access point is actually about 25 meters away from here. So it's pretty amazing that this is working. Let's have a look at some of the functions that are in here. Let's start off with sending it a message. To send a message to the Arduino um, you just put the message onto the web. Um, we can just edit this and let's say hello Dirk and I'm just putting this on my web server here we go. Let's have a look. And uh, after a few seconds, it actually downloads the data. And once the data is downloaded, it will display it. Now, on the other hand, if I remove the file from the file system on the server, like so. Now we're removing the whole file, so it will get an error once it's downloading it. And so once it starts updating it and it gets the error when it tries to download it, it'll just remove the message. Here we go. A very, very simple little pager application that can basically work from everywhere. Now suppose we want to send an update information to set the time in the Arduino correctly. 
Um, we can do this very simply with this command in, by just downloading a web page and giving in the option the actual date which is done through the date command in Unix which is very very simple and if we send this to the Arduino the Arduino instantly sets the correct time like this now the Arduino still retains all the simple functions for configuration and everything so we can still use the web browser to set all the configurations we can for example read the analog inputs like so we can read the digital inputs like here uh, using the LCD display only three digital outputs uh, inputs are left um, we can set the digital outputs so we can still put LEDs or switches lights and everything on there and we can use the standard configuration interface that was there before Here we go. So we can configure everything. We can configure the SSID, the password. Uh, we can tell it to run as an access point. We can turn on encryption. We can select the channel and we can set the time. You can also set the time base because most Arduinos are not very exact when it comes to their own uh, quartz time. So most of the time uh, one million microseconds is not uh, one second. It's more or less about 10% off in either direction and you can just use experiments to find out what time base you need to use and you can set that which is really handy I've been able to get one of my Arduinos to a point where it wouldn't lose more than uh, two seconds in one week and that is very good um, that's pretty much it for now um, most of the code is already in my github repo uh, some of the newer functions are still missing because they're not pretty enough to upload them yet um, but I'll work on that in the next couple of days and uh, when everything's ready I'll upload it and keep you informed thanks for watching bye